Okay, Tony, we have speed. In three, two, one. And you are live. Hi, I'm Tony, back with more drone pilot business strategies. As a drone pilot entrepreneur running your own drone service business, you know how silly it can be juggling every aspect of what you do. From flying the drone, to managing the clients, and dealing with the finances. Today, we're going to take on the top 10 challenges you're likely facing and share some useful practices to help you navigate the many hurdles. Whether you're struggling with startup, cash flow, feeling buried alive, or feverishly dealing with regulatory red tape, this guide will help you stay on track and thrive in your solo venture. Drone Pilot MBA Startup Survival Guide 101. That's our focus on this issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to another issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Welcome to Drone Pilot MBA Startup Survival Guide 101. One of our fellow drone colleagues, Jason R. from Topeka, Kansas, wrote the following. Hi, Tony. Thanks for the care you share. I'm currently working through my drone business startup process. I'm getting close to rolling out. What advice can you give pertaining to the steps of a startup? Keep it simple if possible. Cheers, JR. Okay, let's follow Jason's lead and go over some proven strategies to help better navigate your startup process. Let's talk about some actionable solutions to some common hurdles for drone pilot entrepreneurs. Let's consider 10 critical areas, including managing our finances, streamlining our operations, and navigating complex regulations. Let's also identify strategies for scaling our drone service business, results-driven marketing, and balancing our career with our personal life. Finally, let's address legal concerns and the importance of having a backup plan. And then we'll wrap with a mental wellness tip to help you push on strong through those tough times. By the time we're done with this session, our objective is to have a well-defined roadmap to tackle challenges to help fortify a sustainable one-person drone business and beyond. Let's get started with our first challenge, managing limited capital and resources. Failure is a wonderful teacher. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. Failure is a part of the process to becoming successful. I tell people this all the time. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game-winning shots. 946 times since he was in high school, the ball has been in his hand to take the game-winning shot with no time on the clock. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When he make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get through failing, 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 all you got to do is make one. All you got to do is make one. As a sole proprietor, every penny counts. And it can be tough to manage expenses for unmanned aircraft or fleet, leading edge software, and other operational necessities. These things all take money. Now, what if your wallet is going dry? As a solution, why not seek alternative funding options? Explore small business loans or 
leasing options to manage your budget. Crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter or GoFundMe can also provide you with capital support. You can also decide and prioritize what equipment is most needed and make the planned upgrades as your cash flow condition improves. As a real-world sidebar, there have been times where I have used an agreed-upon client advance to buy a much-needed piece of equipment in order to facilitate the job. Sometimes it's all about being a bit creative, if you know what I mean. But also, when it comes to being creative, always make sure you know the laws that may apply. Handling all aspects of your business, from client management, marketing, and operations can quickly become overwhelming. That's not to mention life's little surprises. As a viable solution, why not turn to automation and outsourcing options? Automate routine tasks with tools like Drone Deploy or Drone Link. Outsource tasks such as video editing or website maintenance to freelancers. This approach frees up your time to focus on flying drones and serving your clients. And as a bonus benefit, you get to meet, network, and work alongside some pretty incredible like-minded dronists and creatives. Now, one cautionary note, always conduct your due diligence before aligning your brand with any outside forces. Staying compliant with ever-changing FAA regulations and local rules can be a significant burden. Now, the one thing I think most of us have learned is that all rules will eventually change or vanish completely. I mean, doesn't it seem like the moment we get the rules down cold, someone comes along and changes things? As a solution, why not stay educated and utilize regulatory tools? Regularly update your knowledge with FAA through webinars and use tools like a loft or autopilot for planning. Keeping your Part 107 certification current and staying informed about airspace rules are essential for compliance. Remember, no one is more responsible for knowing and abiding by all regulations than you. Always play at the top of your game. Next, we talk about how to scale your business. As your business grows, it can be challenging to scale without additional support. In other words, it's time to grow, but you're a bit apprehensive about making that transition. It is scary. You're not alone. It's a big step for sure. So, how then can you get more done in order to grow your solo pilot enterprise? As a solution, why not create systems and leverage technology? To streamline operation, you can implement certain system automations for both client and and project management activities. For example, you can invest in more advanced drone technology, such as thermal imaging, to expand your service offerings. Also, consider subcontracting to manage increased demand without overextending yourself. Remember, we're competing in a marathon. This is not a 100-yard dash. Only travel at your safe speed. Move only as fast as it is most comfortable for you. And do be careful not to screw up that which you have already worked so hard to build. If you do decide to scale up, 
do so with smart planning and proceed with great caution. Fluctuating income can make it difficult to maintain a steady cash flow, right? It's a huge challenge for our finances and for our psyche when one week we're up and the next week we're down. How can we stay on top of all this all-too-often reality? As a solution, why not build cash projections and offer retainer services? Develop cash flow projections to plan for slow periods and offer retainer packages to ensure steady income. Clearly outline payment terms with clients and set aside funds for taxes. If you choose to make sweetheart deals, be careful not to give away the farm. Also, never chase the money. You're not running a bank. Always stay out in front when it comes to client receivables and any other monies owed you. Also, be frugal. Keep a very close eye on how you spend. Plan ahead for those rainy days, as those rainy days will definitely come. Finding and attracting clients can be a major challenge, particularly in a competitive marketplace. And believe me, it's getting real busy out there. Not to mention all the extraneous noise. It seems that just about everyone is vying to be heard. So, how do you cut through the boisterous cacophony? As a tangible solution, why not build a strong online presence and get out and network locally? Create a professional website showcasing your work and use social media to promote your services. Now, if you don't know how, there are many platforms like Squarespace, Wix, GoDaddy, and a myriad of others to help you get it done. Also, don't be shy when it comes to networking with local businesses. With Business cards in hand, why not attend industry events to build relationships and gain referrals? Don't you find it a bit fascinating that so many brands try to sell the world while missing out on those local business opportunities within a 50-square-mile radius? Why not forge a relationship with a leadership at the Chamber of Commerce, Rotary, and other community business organizations? What about manning a booth at the state fair or an upcoming local business trade show? Haven't we all heard that it all comes down to who you know and who knows you? Next up, we're going to talk about how to sustain a work-life balance. Let's face it, balancing the demands of running a solo business with personal time can be difficult. Many of us are doing Mach 1000 with our pants on fire. As a sound solution, why not set boundaries and prioritize tasks? Establish clear boundaries between work and personal time. Use task management tools to stay organized and to avoid burnout by scheduling regular breaks and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Here's a pro tip. Learn to politely say no. Sometimes it's the only way to play another day. Many times I've fired myself in the morning and then had to turn right around and rehire myself that same afternoon. This is the life of an entrepreneur. This is the life we choose. Don't you love it?
Managing legal issues such as liability and privacy concerns is crucial for your business. So how can you best keep yourself and your business protected? As a smart solution, why not obtain drone insurance and secure legal protection? Invest in drone insurance for liability coverage and use clear, detailed contracts to protect yourself legally. Platforms like LegalZoom or Zen Business can help you create customizable contracts and other legal documents. For even more info, I encourage you to watch our Drone Business Strategy Magazine session entitled Drone Pilot MBA Drone Service Contracts 101. Additionally, if you still feel legally challenged or desire the ultimate level of protection, reaching out to a bar-certified attorney would certainly be considered apropos. Unexpected issues like equipment failure or illness can disrupt our operations. How about the occasional flaky client? Aren't they a fun group? As a savvy solution, why not create a contingency plan and automate key tasks? Have backup equipment ready and build extra time into your project schedules. I'd like to add one third to these things for instance, if I know I can get the task for the client done in three days, I add an extra day for a total of four days, just in case one of life's curveballs is thrown my way. Another thing I've done in case trouble arises and I get pushed back, I've established a network of reliable drone pilots and talented creatives who I can call upon should the situation warrant it. I like to say... Always expect the unexpected. Even as a solo operator, building a network is important for business growth. If you're a rug maker and you hide your work in a closet, how are you ever going to profit? As a solution, why not join industry groups and attend events? We brushed over this one already, but it's important to reiterate the value of relationship building. Again, be sure to actively participate in industry groups and attend drone-related conferences so that you can connect with other professionals. Networking can lead to valuable referrals, partnerships, and seen and unforeseen growth opportunities. Always see and be seen. Running a solo business can be isolating and tough, leading to moments when you might feel like giving up. Like those times when a client opts to go with someone else. Or what about when you're just about done producing that most amazing real estate photography reel for that favorite client who needs the media by morning, and then your PC totally craps out? When you feel like pulling your hair out or altogether firing yourself, reflect upon your initial motivations, your why and stick close to a few of your supportive peers. Remember, we eat the elephant one bite at a time. Break those challenges into smaller tasks. Compartmentalize accordingly. Celebrate your successes. And remember to take meaningful breaks and breathers for your mental well-being. If you poop out, your business poops out. 
always be about superior attitude and superior state of mind. As a sole proprietor in the drone industry, you face unique challenges, but with these strategies, you can navigate them effectively by managing your resources wisely, staying organized, and focusing on growth. You'll be well equipped to build a successful solo drone business. That's a wrap for this Drone Pilot Business Strategy Session, Drone Pilot MBA, Startup Survival Guide 101. You'll find more information and important links pertaining to today's strategy session in the description below. Also, I have written and published over 150 articles related to drone business expansion strategies. Help yourself to the many available resources to help fortify your drone service business at aerialnorthwest.com. I hope you found today's insights valuable. If you did, please do click the like button below. And please do subscribe to the channel for more practical drone pilot tips and strategies. I'll continue to work hard to bring you the best of drone business strategy. If you have questions or ideas for future episodes of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine, just like Jason today, drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and fun flights. I'm Tony Moreno. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. As a drone pilot entrepreneur running your own drone service business, you know it can be pretty silly uh, when you... Cut. Remember though, when you can get drone technology, such as thermal imaging. Thermal Cut. imaging. <laughs> You can invest in more than and, 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 and explore business loans or leasing options to manage your budget. Now, upgrades as your cash flow conditions approve. <laughs> approve, Cut. improve your budget. Crowdfunding, crowdfunding, the challenges to help fortify a sustainable jump in. Cut. Story tools. Cut. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.